experimental learning. If man is equipped with knowledge, he has the power to achieve the impossible against all odds. And it is this growth in knowledge which led to great accomplishments in various fields. This was the opening quote of my teacher on the first day of school. She continued that knowledge is acquired not just through studying at school but also through personal reading and experiments. I was mighty impressed especially with the experiment part of it. That night I lay in bed reading George's Marvelous Medicine by Roald Dahl. The day's events inspired me to concoct a special remedy for my grandmother's aching feet. She had been in agonizing pain for several months. I recollected that my mother often massaged her scalp to relieve her stress. Eureka! I realized that this would be my first ingredient. But as I said, half-baked knowledge is perilous and has done no good. I read up on the benefits of oil before emptying the coconut oil bottle in a mixing jar. My idea got wings and now I wanted my concoction to be used by many. So I decided to make it attractive with multiple benefits. Now I added an equal amount of chili for the color and the heat which would help in blood circulation. This was coupled with turmeric for anti-infection properties. A few sprays of my father's favorite perfume. And what did we have? A fragrant vermilion liquid with medicinal properties. Or so I thought. My help was cajoled into coaxing my grandmother into using it. And she did, oblivious of my inputs. But as soon as she did, there was a loud shriek. Ah! I ran into my room and sought refuge under my blanket. But the next day, I was back with the bang because I had not failed. I just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. Oh, what a genius Thomas Alva Edison was for saying this. Now I decided to bring some relief to my help by making a pollution catcher and saving him the trouble of sweeping and mopping the floor. Eureka! So I put Vaseline on all the steel plates I found at home and stood, stood them against the window pane. All was well until a strong wind brought them crashing down. The house was in a mess. My mother hit the ceiling. I could spell trouble. Thankfully, no one lost hope in my budding abilities. And everyone said that we could discuss the pros and cons after doing a good amount of reading before I implemented my ideas. I breathed a sigh of relief. For now, I could continue on my quest to find beneficial solutions with adequate knowledge. Of course, because Francis Bacon rightly said, knowledge is power. And like Einstein, I'm just passionately curious if you know what I mean.